Hello friends, welcome to Dream Destinations. I am your friend and host Singh. So this Monday I completed my trip of Switzerland which was for 8 days. So I want to just uh, give you a brief idea on how to do the planning for the trip. So the airline tickets has to be booked minimum 2-3 to three months ahead so you two can get the best, op best options and the best rates. So hotels, uh, you have two options. You can stay in a hotel or a BNB accommodation. So to enjoy the natural scenic beauty, so you should try one of the Airbnb hotels because they are a little away from the city and they give you a more scenic view of Switzerland. So uh, like the two options, either you can take the normal transit or you can rent your own car so like i rented my own car so i went to expedia and from there i booked a car so when i went there i got a jeep suv fully equipped with uh, gps and other other modern features so one more thing like if you're using a car so you have to be very like good at driving because the minimum speed of a highway is 120 kilometers per hour and overall some of the areas are hilly areas so on one side is a valley and the other side is a mountain so you have to be really very careful driving on those roads and uh, if you're using a bnb accommodation there are, there are different uh, grocery options like coop which provide decent grocery items at very reasonable prices and it's a really beautiful place to enjoy so the best months to go is around between august to october so there there's very few ices there and uh, you can really enjoy the natural beauty and moreover some of the rides like the first and the zumfro they are really expensive so what i advise is when you're doing those rides you better go there and book the tickets they'll be a little expensive but that will be economy for you rather than losing the whole money if you go up and the weather is very bad you cannot see anything you cannot get out there may be either cloudy or there may be rain so that's not that you'll be losing your money in that sense so it's better these two the rides which are expensive you go there and you can book them and then enjoy the natural beauty of there moreover i i'll be making a couple of videos on switzerland so just a small request to you if you like my videos so do not forget to like and subscribe to the videos and give me motivation to work more better and give you more nice videos of the natural beauty and thank you once again for your prestigious time this was my suv from jeep which i used for my whole trip in switzerland it was equipped with gps and all other modern features this is Lake Lucerne in the Lucerne region of Switzerland. It's a beautiful place where you can enjoy different options of cruises, small ships, big ships and small boats also. You can really enjoy the natural beauty of this place in a small ship. This is the Luzon railway station where you can find trains going to different parts of Switzerland and different types of trains are also available depending upon your budget and how much you want to spend on the travel. These are the famous Coop chain of grocery stores in Switzerland. Just in case you are staying in Airbnb hotel and you need to do some cooking so you can find all your grocery needs here milk and all stuff fruits everything is available here and at a decent price this was the view when i went out of my hotel room into my balcony I really fell in love with Mother Nature.
In almost all part of Switzerland, you have water fountains like this. They provide natural drinking water, so you can carry an empty bottle, just fill up the bottle and drink water, so you don't have to buy water from outside. It's really healthy and good for the body. A visit to a, one of the chocolate factories is really worth visiting. So we had an opportunity to go here. So here they show you how chocolate is manufactured, what is the history of chocolate, different types and forms of chocolate. And finally, they give you an opportunity to build a chocolate of your own with the, all the ingredients provided by them. When you buy a ticket, you are given a small cup so that when you go inside the factory, you get an opportunity to eat different types of chocolates are there. So here you see different types of chocolates are put on the table so that you can pick them up with a scoop and try them. You see in this machine, they are showing how the chocolate is grinded to make a paste out of it. You'll be seeing now there are different types of chocolates are put in buckets like this for you to eat. Here they are showing the different dyes which they use to make the different forms of chocolate. Rabbit, like a Santa Claus, bat, all different types, shapes of chocolates. Here they show the plastic dyes. So that's a Santa Claus, this is a rabbit. Here you see they are make arrangements for you to smell chocolates of different type. The chocolates are put at the center and there's a pump at the bottom. So when you pass the pump, you put your nose on front of those on top of the white stuff so you can smell them. This is the actual factory where the chocolates are being made and packed. So you can see them through the glass window. Here you see chocolate of different types are in molded form. So you just pull the button at the bottom and put your cup below that so that you can get some chocolate and you can try that chocolate. See, a chocolate is coming out of it and then you can try that. So that was caramel and this is I think uh, chocolate flavor. To the stage where you're given an opportunity to make a chocolate of your own so the lady has a die in her hand 
with different shapes in it. So she puts one type of molten chocolate into it and then she goes and puts another type of chocolate into it. There she goes, she's putting another one. Now she puts on a vibrating table so that the vibrations uh, distribute the chocolate evenly on the, on the frame. These are the different ingredients which you use to decorate and make your chocolate. So you put them on your liquid form of chocolate. After the decoration has been done, so this chocolate passes through this machine. They put it on a table on like as a belt and then it passes through the, again this machine you see it's uh, coming inside and eventually it comes out from the other side and when it's coming out it's a pure made fully made chocolate. Thank you very much for your precious time and please do not forget to subscribe and like if you like my videos. Thank you very much.